one of the very popular integrations that the WooCredits Platinum version has is an integration with WooCommerce subscriptions. And a lot of our customers are using WooCommerce subscriptions in conjunction with WooCredits to create credit-based subscription packages. So uh, this video obviously assumes that you have WooCommerce subscriptions uh, installed and activated. And it also assumes that you have created credit bundles um, because you'll need those to set up the subscription product. So uh, if you haven't created credit bundles yet, there's another tutorial video uh, called Creating Credit Bundles, which will walk you through those steps. But assuming you have both the bundles created and WooCommerce subscriptions installed, uh, this video will walk you through creating a credit-based subscription. Uh, so what you'll do is simply hover over the WooCommerce Products tab and click Add New. And we'll call this uh, credit-based, or just call it credit subscription example. Uh, and, and what you're going to want to do is title it. Enter your title for your product, come down here, select the simple subscription, and before you do anything else, you'll want to save the draft. By saving the draft, it will then populate this credits plan, and those correlate to the, the bundles or the plans or the packages that you've set up under the create credit bundle. So we have package one, 10 credits for 25 bucks, package two, 25 credits for 50, package 3, 50 credits um, for 75. And the way that you'll want to do this is you'll want to price this. So if you're going to if you're going to select package 1 as being the credit the the package that they're going to get, um, you will want to correlate that with this price. So package 1, 10 credits for 25 bucks. Um, you'll want to enter the price there and then select package one and when you saved that draft and then preview it it's going to charge them the $25 for the month and allocate them the 10 credits and then one month from that original purchase, it will charge them another $25 and add 10 more credits to their account. Um, so that's the way that you would set up a, a simple subscription. Um, and there's an option here where you can have the credit plan expiry days and any number that you enter here, it would cause the credits to expire after a certain number of days. So if you set it at 60, um, credits that they had purchased 60 days prior would begin to drop off. Um, so that is a way to, you know, possibly incentivize them to keep the subscription active or incentivize the customer to continue to spend the credits. Um, so that's how you would do a simple subscription. I'm going to do another video very similar in, in the way that you would set it up for a variable subscription.